All right, it's time for some more magic. We got Crumbling Necropolis, Savage Lands, Shock Think Twice, Thunder, Visions, and Runescar Demon. We're on the draw, too. So two lands, plus we've got the, the Think Twice and the Visions, so that means I, I'm going to hit my land drops if I want to. I've got an early game removal spell, and a Resounding Thunder, and a Runescar Demon at the top, so this is fine. Playing against Ace Wolf 75. He's running a 70 card pile, and he starts with Elixir of Immortality. So. That could be the black, the black white uh, life gain deck. So we'll find out now. Picked up a third land, which is good. Let's get Necropolis down. And uh, next turn we'll play the Savage Lands, unless we draw a basic, in which case I, I may just play it so I can play the Think Twice, but we'll see what happens. So he's playing blue white, he's playing IR Ruin Expedition. That uh, every time he plays a land, he gets a counter on it, and then when he gets three, he can sacrifice it for two cards. Which is fine, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's just play the Savage Lands. Keep the shock open. And uh, let's just keep putting these tap lands into play and slowly building up a mana base. So, like I say, we got the, the removal spell here now. He's casting Wall of Omens, doesn't threaten me at all, so I'm not too worried about a wall. He might be playing some kind of blue white control deck by the looks of this, then. Which, uh, you know, this deck has a lot of game with the control mirror with the uncounterable burn, so. And if he's not attacking me, I'm always feeling good about that. If uh, if a player's not attacking me, it's it's good. It's good for me. So let's just put the Sanctum into play. Now we've got all our all five colors, so if we ever pick up an obelisk, we get all the modes already. No, he's into he's playing Bant. Okay, so that, that changes my perspective. He might not necessarily be, be playing a control deck. He's playing Visionaries, okay, so it looks like he's just playing the whole card drop package. Could be playing Species Gorger, you know, to, to bounce those guys and recast them. But for now, let's just draw a card. Let us just draw an Augur Spree. And put another crumbling necropolis into play. We've got enough mana to uh, flash back that thing twice in the graveyard. Although I might cast one from hand just not, so I don't overdraw, but it depends on if I cast a spell or not. He's cultivating. I think what I may do, honestly, is, uh, is shock. Should I shock that visionary? I might, I'm not going to shock it right now in case he's got some type of titanic growth effect. But I am probably going to shock it at end of turn just so I can uh, not overdraw my hand. And he plays another visionary. Okay. So now I'm going to shock this visionary. And then think twice. Pick up another shock. So he's got four cards in his hand, but he's got that, uh, that expedition that he can sacrifice at any time. Which he does, so now he's up to six. And he will be on seven mana next turn, so the the big nasties could be coming into play. But we've got the uh, we've got the traumatic visions online. I've got uh, two necropolises and a sanctum, so I've got three blue sources. So I'm uh, I'm good to cast this if he puts something really scary on the stack. I hope it's not a terror stomper. The lock of worm, though, I can counter that. This is a cultivate. Yeah, I'm fine with you just doing the whole land thing. I'm cool with that. Does he have anything else? He's got a guard gamazo again. Doesn't attack me, so. Not too worried about it. It's just one three defender. And he gets in for one. We can handle one. And let's go in the graveyard and flashback, I think, twice. And that'll bring us up to seven cards and our draw for turn will bring us up to eight. And we got another think twice, which is great, so now I can just put the gate into play. And I'll be able to cast this think twice and uh, flash one back if he doesn't do anything too scary. And I've got this in case he does do something scary. So he's up to nine mana. So that's that's quite a hefty chunk of mana there. He's playing a low missionary, going to gain four life. I'm not too worried about that. Not at least not from a counterspell perspective. I'm not worried about his life total. So he's just getting in for one more. So he's got all the ETBs going on. He's got the walls. So I don't know, uh, I don't know what kind of deck he could be playing. So let's just draw a card. Which is Augur Spree. Then let's draw another card. Which is Mountain. So now we're oh, Anger of the Gods takes care of most of that. Anger of the Gods does take care of most of that. Do I want to cast it though? Not. I got seven mana, so if I cast this, oh, I won't have enough mana to cast this. So I think what I do. It's just discard a land. Is that what I do? I think it's what I do. 
Yeah, I think it's what I do, and then I, well, if I, I, I want to have eight mana. I want to be able to anger with this up. I think I'll discard. I think I'll discard a shock, actually, at this point. I, I want to I wanna have eight land next turn so I can anger with my counter spell still online. But he's going for the big boy. He's going for Kozilek, so I have to counter that. Absolutely have to counter that right now. So he still gets his four cards, though. So he's going to be up to... Uh, Seven in hand, yeah. So he's got a full grip again. So he's only swinging for three, and I got the anger to wipe uh, to wipe those two guys, which I'm going to have to do. Or maybe I just uh, maybe I just cast the Rune Scar Demon. I don't know if he's playing counter spells, so but now might be a good time to just play the Demon. Now might be a good time to Demon for what do I want a Demon for? Which mana do I have? I have eight, so I'm two two mana away from Kozilek, but eight mana is Obelisk mana, so I'm going to go for that. I'm gonna go for Obelisk because it's uh, it's just a really good card. Let's go get it. Where are you? Where? Oh, there you are. Okay. So yeah, on eight mana, I can cast an Obelisk and activate it on the same turn. So yeah, that that might be something. And the turn after, I can anger the gods and use use the Obelisk Black Mode to finish off this and uh, wipe this whole board. He's got the Palaka Worm. That's uh that's a large creature. That's a very uh, that's a very big creature. I don't care about the 7 life so much as I care about the 7-7 seven, seven Trampler in play. And he's cultivating again. I think that's like the 8th one he's cast this game. But I can get rid of the worm. I can, I can double auger spree it or I can spree plus thunder. So I got I got ways to deal with it. Uh, inspiration. Inspiration. So I'm actually going to play the obelisk here. I want to make sure I've got green mana open. Green. I need to keep the Savage Lands and the Arcane Sanctum open. Okay, here we go. So that gives me all my colors, I believe. Savage Lands, so I'm not going to attack here. Let's see, do I have all my colors? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, okay, let's pass it over to him. He's got the, he's got the big old 7-7 seven, seven over there, but uh, I've got the plus 4, plus 4 mode on Ob Obelisk here. Naturalize. Well, that's really shitty. Reprisal. That's really shitty. This is like the worst turn ever. Yep, this is like the worst turn ever. So, do I gain five life? I think I gain five life. Yeah. Wow, naturalize reprisal just absolutely wrecked me. Well, I got a feeling I'm going to lose this game, so I'm taking ten right here. And my board's empty. And he's got another worm. Okay. Uh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Wow. Naturalized reprisal. Boom. Game over. Look at this guy. Oh, he's pretty happy about that. Yeah. He's he's pretty pleased with himself. I think he just finished there. Anyways, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can pick up a shock. Uh, and I might be able to do something. Might be able to do something if I pick up a shock. So. I've got to... how much mana do I have? Eight. I need nine. I need nine fucking mana. I need nine. So if I anger... I need I need nine mana. I'm dead. See? Shit. Gets rid of most of the stuff. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. It's Augur Spree the Worm. Exile the worm. He doesn't get to draw a card. Okay. All right. I'm sure, he's got something nice and big. He's on 38 life. He's feeling good about himself. Angelica Court. He's gonna pop his. Uh, he's gonna pop his elixir of immortality now and get a 4-4 flyer. Man, this guy is really happy. He's he's really happy. Hope he got a pump spell. Does he have a pump spell to kill me now? Because I'm not dead yet. Just want to send out a message that I'm not dead yet. Okay, he's gonna get a 4-4 flyer. That's okay. Alright, picked up a sanctum. So <laughs> ah, tribute to hunger. How much mana? Again, still eight. Still eight mana. 
So if I auger spree resounding thunder. See, why did that mana have to enter the battlefield tapped? I need to cast these three spells. Oh my. Auger spree. Tribute to Hunger doesn't get me there, though. Tribute doesn't get me there. Fifteen mana. Man, oh man, I tell you, this guy, he's loving it. Loving it. Tribute. Not enough, though. Unfortunately, not enough. Wow, that guy, he's a happy, he's a happy fellow. Alright. Well, that's it. Yeah, I needed that ninth land, and, and I could have taken that happiness and, and put an end to it, but, oh well, such is life. Moving on, and we'll see you tomorrow.